Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh man, I've been looking forward to this moment with you. This is the channel of theology in layman's term by Reverend Henry Sam. Well, this is our second part of Prophet prophecy and prophesy so in essence this is the part two of the series i started a uh, couple of days maybe about a week now well let us deal with our question who is a prophet in scripture a prophet in scripture referring to the judeo christian scriptures Okay, in scripture, a prophet is someone illuminated, illuminated, inspired, or instructed by God to announce future events. One that foretells or predicts future events, as Moses, Elijah, David, and uh, Isaiah and others. A prophet, therefore, proclaims the message given to him. In essence, a prophet is a spokesman for God. He speaks in God's name and by his authority. He, he is the mouthpiece or the mouth by which God speaks to man. Hence, what the prophet says is not of a man, but of God. All right? Okay, uh, what are some of the ex examples we can uh, 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 find in scripture? Exodus chapter 1, I mean, sorry, Exodus chapter 7, verse 1. This is what the Bible says. So the Lord said to Moses, See, I have made you as God to Pharaoh, and Aaron, your brother, shall be your prophet. Okay? Verse 2 says that you shall speak. All that I command you, and Aaron, your brother, shall tell Pharaoh to send the children of Israel out of his land. Okay? Now, here was, you know, very interesting passage where God is showing us, or what we, I just told you, that a prophet is someone who does, who proclaims the message given to him. And here, Moses was God to his brother Aaron. So in essence, Aaron becomes Moses' prophet. So whatever Moses tells him, that is what he proclaims or declares. Now, let's look at another passage in Jeremiah chapter 1, which says, verse 7 says, But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am a youth, for you shall go to all to whom I send you, and whatever I command you, you shall speak. Verse 8 says, Do not be afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you says the lord verse 9 is the point then the lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth and the lord said to me behold i have put my word in your mouth amen then as the edge of the 51 verse 16 says i have put my word in your mouth Amen. So that is, uh, those are a couple of passages. Uh, there are numerous, but these are some of the main ones that I, I just want to bring to your attention. Uh, and before I go into my next uh, uh, question or tackle the next uh, uh, phase of what I'm talking about, why am I talking about this? Because, you know, in, in today's age, right, whenever the miraculous occurred. 
things. Whenever something happens that is beyond our understanding, we credit that to the devil. No, no, no. So our next question, or the next question to address is, what is the difference between the Old Testament and the New Testament prophets? Simply put, the Old Testament prophets were the instruments God used to predict the Messiah's conception and birth. You remember the Virgin Mary, the Annunciation, shall conceive this child. So that is um, one major okay, responsibility of the Old Testament prophet. And then also what the prophet in the New Testament is, or uh, uh, these are mainly people who deals with exposition and exegesis. What that means is that critical explanation or interpretation of a text, especially of scripture. So the New Testament, let's say, um, a minister, a preacher, a pastor, a bishop, dealing extragistically with a, a critical passage and expounding, uh, the, uh, the, laying out an exposition that will touch every aspect of your life. Whether a situation, a uh, condition created by a momentary situation, and as he spouts on this passage, it touches every facet of that. So that is the difference between that of, so it is, it, it is not uh, uh, the New Testament, it is uh, 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 what's called um, prophet, it, it is not necessarily speaking any future event, though in his exposition, he might come across something that would be occurring in the near future. So that is the difference. Well, 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 I don't want to go uh, uh, over a certain, I mean, time limit. I, I will want to come back next time in my next video. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be looking at how many times the noun prophet has been found in the Bible and the Old Testament and that in the New Testament. And the pro uh, so we're going to be looking at all that. But before I go, you know, the Bible says that in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27, it is appointed unto a man once to die after that judgment. Huh? Romans 3 23 says, all sin and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 6 23 says, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. Romans 10 13 says, All oh, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Why won't you call upon his name this moment? This is the second of every minute of your time. This is the minute of every hour of your life. This is a day in this week of your life. This is a month in a year of your life. Why won't you make that decision? He's waiting on you. Make that decision. And guess what? He will change you inside out. Well, I wanted to share this video. I wanted to like it. I wanted to subscribe to the video. Look, let's do this together because we need a word of God. We need a encouragement from the word of God. We need it to be very knowledgeable in the things of God. But till I talk to you again, I want you to be really, really vigilant.